Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, hi, hello. My name is Maya, and I am your host of Motivation and Muscles with Maya Ting. I've already had some coffee. I've had some water. Now I am eating cherries. So if you see me spitting something out, it's the seed. Um, yeah. Um, mm. Let me get my little light. Let me put these to the side because there's no way I can talk in. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say good morning so we can do our five minutes of meditation. And today's word that we're going to focus on is purpose. What is your purpose? I think a lot of us are the walking dead. Do you know that show? I used to be obsessed with it when it was really at its height, right? Um, I don't even know if they're still running that show. I don't know. And then it was the fear of the walking dead anyway. Um, a person who is the walking dead, it, it's, it's, uh, it's self-explanatory. They're just dead people walking aimlessly and with no purpose. They're just aimlessly walking you know, and I know for me, I don't want to be that person. I want to know for sure what my purpose is and why I'm here on this planet. And, you know, it helps when you are growing up and growing into your own and understanding what type of job you want to be in. Because I am at a point in my life where I can only work in my purpose. I cannot work outside of my purpose. My purpose is not data. I'm not a data type of person. I am not, uh, let's see, I'm not really hands-on when it comes to putting things together with my hands, like mechanics. I'm not mechanically inclined. Um, a little bit, just not big time. And, um, what else? I wouldn't work at a fire station as a firefighter because I'm not a firefighter. I could become a fire, 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 firefighter, but that's just not what my ministry is. It doesn't get my heart jumping, right? What I'm currently doing um, as a graduation coach for the largest virtual school in the state of Georgia, that is my ministry. That is my purpose. I was created to serve people. I was created to help people. I was created to edify people. That is me. I'm not meant to be a teacher, right? Um, I'm more of the, in, in the helping field. That's me. Um, and I am intentional about working within my purpose, according to God, right? So what is your purpose? What is your thing, right? And I think a lot of us, what's happening is we are the walking dead because we've never taken out the time to figure that thing out, to figure out what our purpose is and should we be at this job? And, you know, because my job is not hard per se. You know, it can be draining at times trying to um, work with people and change mindsets and, you know, get students from, you know, one point to another, get them graduated, right? That's hard in itself. But um, when the gift comes from God and you're operating in your gift, you never quit. You never quit. So what is your purpose? And if you don't know, then we need to take five minutes to really just think about that. And after the five minutes, if you don't come to a conclusion as to what, you should be doing and how you should be operating and flowing while you are here on this earth, um, then maybe you need to take a little bit more time. Dig into the word of God and as you're reading and getting to know who Jesus is, right? He'll whisper to you. He'll talk to you and tell you exactly what you should be doing. He will. And you'll be satisfied. It's nothing like feeling satisfied because you're working in your purpose. I'm going to have a cherry on that. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. So yeah, 
I am thankful that I am no longer the walking dead. I know who I am. I know I don't mean much to this world. I know that. I know that for a fact, but I know I mean everything to Jesus. And I know he wants to see me win. And I know for a fact that you are everything to Jesus and he wants to see you win. Now, when I talk about winning, it's not that every single day is going to be, you know, rainbows and lollipops. That's not how it works, right? But choose your heart. Choose your heart. Either you, this life is already a struggle, right? Do you want to make it harder, more difficult than you have to? Let me eat a cherry on that. Life is already hard. I don't want to make it harder. I don't want to, I don't want to complicate it. I don't want to make it more difficult. And I've served the world enough. And again, I am not speaking from a place where I am up here and I'm looking down and I'm teaching you guys. Nah, that, that's not how I roll. We're learning together. We are learning together. And I just like to share what's on my heart with you guys. Um, so please don't ever take it that I know everything because I don't. You know, I don't ever want you to think that I'm coming from a place of righteousness and self-righteousness. Mm -mm, I'm not. I'm going to eat a cherry on that. So. Yeah. Purpose. What is your purpose? A little example. Two years ago, I moved out of the social worker's role into another role that was created for me. And initially, I thought the role was everything in a bag of chips. It sounded perfect for me. It was, um, it on paper, it was perfect for me. I could tell that my boss, my director, really thought about me when she was creating this list, not to mention I was praying to God and asking for a change. Um, and it was presented to me. However, when I really got into the thick of things in reference to that role, that role really was not working out. It was not, um, it just, it just was not for just a lot of different reasons. So now I received another, um, role as a graduation coach, the, role that I should have been in a long time ago, where I get to really work with high schoolers who are struggling, who are struggling. But the thing about it is when you operate in your purpose, God always makes a way and he clears the path for you. I'm going to eat a cherry on that. Always. Always. So I'm sold out for Jesus. Why? Because Jesus has proved himself over and over and over again, at least to me. And he doesn't have to because the day he decided to go to that cross and die for me, die for you and to die for the sins of the world. That was enough because I don't know nobody who's going to die for me. Let me eat a cherry on that. I'm going to eat a cherry on that. You know? So let's go ahead and take a, a pause, a self-care pause, right? And let's think about our purpose. And at the, at the end of the five minutes, if you're still not sure about what your purpose is, I challenge you to dig deep into the word of God and see what, what God has for you. Because believe it or not, what God says to me might not be the same as what he says to you. But the foundation, his word stays the same. Okay? So let's go ahead and take our five minutes. And then we'll come back, okay? Let's go.
That's five minutes. I hope you really got something out of just having the opportunity to pause for a second. Even if you don't even concentrate on the word or the phrase, but you're just clearing your mind, preparing for a new day, clear, and feeling a little bit lighter. Yeah. So I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna get more cherries and I'm going to start my day because I have a pretty busy day. I have a couple of errands I need to run later on the day. So I love you so, so much. Have a good one. Bye.